Welcome to Hypnosis Health Info. I'm Roger Moore. You may know that I'm very passionate about weight loss and that I used to weigh about 110 pounds more than I do now. I was overweight most of my life. You know, we do the diet thing up, down, up, down. And, but thanks to healthy eating, exercise, and hypnosis, about 15 years ago I was able to take the weight off and I've kept it off ever since. And back in about 1999, became involved in the Slender for Life Hypnotic Weight Loss Program. And, and for the last uh, little over 11 years, I've owned the program, director of the program, and wrote my book, Becoming Slender for Life. And, and most of my practice is medical hypnosis, and particularly focused on, on weight loss. And over the years, I've had a lot of folks come in who have had gastric bypass surgery, who've had lap band surgery. I forget the exact count, but it's over 45 clients that I've seen over the years that have had the surgery come, come into my office, uh, sometimes months later, sometimes several years after the surgery, weighing more than they did prior to the surgery. And now they're dealing with lifelong physical issues and eating issues, but nothing changed mentally and emotionally. They still had the same mental and emotional issues that they were struggling with prior to the surgery. And so they end up coming to me uh, to learn hypnosis for weight loss so that they can change their thoughts, change their emotions, and change their behaviors. And I was particularly uh, interested in an article that I found in WebMD dated uh, yesterday, March 21st of 2011, that talks about poor results from lap band surgery. And uh, it says researchers say weight loss from lap bands is relatively low. Long-term results for lap band weight loss surgery are relatively poor, according to a new study from Belgium. Nearly half of the 82 patients followed for 12 years or longer require removal of the bands, and about 40% had major complications, the researchers found. The average weight loss was below what experts considered good results. Even so, a majority of their patients in their small study said they were satisfied with the procedure. Des despite that degree of satisfaction, I think people have exaggerated expectations from the banned procedure, says the researcher. His study findings are a reality call. 39% had major complications such as erosion of the band in which it erodes into the stomach and typically requires removal. About 50% required band removal and nearly 60% needed additional procedures. Average excess weight loss overall was 42.8% of excess weight after 12 years, but 48% among those who still had their band at the end of the follow-up. Greater than 50% is considered a good result, experts say. Overall, 60.3% of patients were satisfied. About 6% of patients had type 2 diabetes before band insertion, while 14% had diabetes 12 years after the procedure. So folks, I don't know about you, but those don't sound like very good results to me. And if, if in my business uh, that was the type of results that we got, I don't think we'd be in business anymore. Uh, Slender for Life clients who follow the program, get through the program, get to their goal weight, and maintain their goal weight for two or more years, that's considered success. And right now, uh, my data is showing that I have about a 48% success rate with Slender for Life at two or more years, meaning that people have gotten to their goal weight and have kept it for two or more years, 48%. Most programs are in the 10 to 12% success rate at two years or beyond. A lot of programs are, are around uh, 4%. So I'm very happy and excited about, about my success rate. And we don't have those types of complications and, and uh, lifelong eating issues and physical issues that result from, from, from having surgery. And so I invite you to visit slenderforlife.com and take a look at the resources also here at hypnosishealthinfo.com. And then uh, give me a call, 206-903-1232. Or send me an email, roger at hypnosishealthinfo.com, and let me know how I can support you in your weight loss journey. And it really isn't about uh, getting to your goal weight. 
your goal weight is a mile marker, it, it's an indication of, of progress. But what it really is about is living the rest of your life at your goal weight. And I, and I always tell my clients that I will support them in their journey of letting go of excess weight. But where I'm going to focus and, and where Slender for Life po really focuses is on the for life part of it. It truly is about living the rest of your life slender for life. So if you'd like to get to your goal weight and most importantly live the rest of your life there, give me a call, send me an email, take a look at the tools and resources at slenderforlife.com and at hypnosishealthinfo.com. Let me know how I can support you. I'm Roger Moore and this is Hypnosis Health Info.